you know, I think I've ignored this series for too long, and I've abandoned it twice. So this time I'm going to do my best not to. Hello everyone, this is Liam from Awful Games, here with the third try of Fallout 4. This isn't going to be anything special, it's just going to be me, how I would normally play a game of Fallout, which I do a lot. I start a lot of new games, because I just... I like doing different things every time I play, but this is going to be more like a casual, <clears throat> excuse me, run through of it. Like, I'm not going to do anything serious, just playing on normal difficulty, just a normal, you know, time. And, oh no, that's not normal. My sister must have been playing. She plays on very easy. She's kind of a goober. Okay. Yep, normal difficulty. Just, you know, casual fun. Um, this is gonna be Mondays and Fridays. So, not, it's like every couple days. I might just randomly decide to upload a video. If I get bored and want to play Fallout, I'll just start recording and, you know, make a video. Uh, ch -ch -ch. this is my character. He's a man, in case you couldn't tell. He has a beard, but you can't really see it. So, we're just gonna ignore Codsworth, because I don't like talking to him. I just think it's a boring conversation. There's rat roaches in there. <clears throat> I probably would be playing on survival mode, like, you know, the new survival mode. But that isn't out on consoles yet. Erg. So, can't. Wasteland Workshop comes out tomorrow, as of the night this is uploaded. So, I might actually make a video tomorrow about that. So, I'm gonna, probably going to be do a lot of uh, settlement stuff in this. With the new arena fights. It's going to be really fun. And because of that, I made a higher charisma character so I can get the perks, you know, animal friend and stuff. Uh, so I can make those awesome beta wave emitters things. Um, here, merg, here are my, mm, here is my special two strength. Uh, one perception, four endurance, seven charisma, three intelligence, five agility, and six luck. Charisma, I always like having a high charisma. I like doing speech checks and having good prices. Intelligence, I never put high. I just don't think it's useful. When Automatron rolls around, when we can do that, you know, we're going to be a little bit screwed because we can't do anything cool, but... I might not do too much with Automatron, just the story, unlock everything, and get the iBot pod, so that's going to be useful. Uh, agility, just so I can have a decent amount of action points. Luck is probably one of the best skill trees in the entire game ever. It's just amazing. Endurance for a little bit more health. Perception, I don't think is very useful. I don't know why. I just uh, Perception's always been my dump stat. I just don't think it's useful. And strength, I strength. I never have too high. I don't think that's too very useful either. So we are going to loot this house and my house and the special book. I'm probably going to put in either luck or charisma. Wait, let me think. Charisma bobbleheads in Parsons. I'm going to do the quest, The Secret of Cabot House, sooner or later anyways. So I probably won't have to put it into charisma because that'll be 8. Probably around level 10. I don't have any bobby pins, so I can't get into that safe. <clears throat> but anyways, I'm going to try to get all the bobbleheads, because I know where most of them are. Uh, I almost have a platinum trophy for this. I only have a couple more things to do. Uh, finish up the Institute quest line, the last quest in the Institute Nuclear Family. Uh, Benevolent Leader, which is just a pain to get for everyone. Uh, and just a couple other random ones, like, I don't even know what I still have to do. Not a lot, though, I know for sure. <coughs> Reach level 50, I can do that easily. I can get about, if I play for about six hours a day, then, uh, just six hours continuously, I can get to level 15 or gain 15 levels. I almost shot dog meat. I thought he was like a vicious dog. That would have been bad. Um, oh, on the matter of companions, I'm not going to take dog meat. I think he's useless. He sucks. Terrible companion. I uh, don't need that pipe pistol, but whatever. 
because sooner or later you're gonna need a companion that you know can shoot a weapon so oh, I don't have any oil I like weapon crafting in this I think it's amazing and I hope they put it in the Elder Scrolls 6 which I'm totally gonna buy and I'm gonna play until the end of the earth when it comes to me I seem to be more of a fallout fan but now more I've been getting back into Skyrim and Oblivion and I'm tempted to try and play Morrowind sooner or later. I think I have. What was that? There's like an explosion on the ground. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that. This house has bobby pins, in case you didn't know. Uh, this is the best place to get bobby pins in case that stupid thingy in the vault doesn't have one. Which I skipped the beginning because. You know, it's kind of boring. You should all know what happens. Your wife gets capped. Your son gets c captured. And uh, you have to go rescue your son. Blah, blah, blah. All that garbage. Um, as for who I'm going to side with, I haven't really decided yet. But I think just because I need the Institute trophies, I'm probably going to do the Institute. I, I was thinking about doing the uh, Brotherhood of Steel again. Because I, I think they're... A pretty amazing faction. I'm definitely not going to do the Minutemen ever again. I accidentally did them well, on accident the first time I ever played this game. Die. Um, because I did too many quests for them, and then I did the defend the castle quest, which that's when everybody cut me loose, and I got so mad because I wanted to do the Brotherhood of Steel, but I had to do the stupid Minutemen, which nobody likes. Because another settlement needs our help. Which, that's going to be... It's like, every Bethesda game has their uh, stupid quote. Like, Oblivion was like, the stop thief or whatever. Uh, Fallout 3 was... Um, oh, what was Fallout 3? Fallout 3 had another stupid one, too. Oh, my God. I forget what it was. It was something really gay. It was just a line that was repeated over and over again. Uh, Skyrim was obviously arrow on the knee. Fallout New Vegas was throwing the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. And this is just another settlement needs your help. I, mm, I need to know what Fallout 3 was. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to look it up. It was something. Something really gay. What do I want to get? I want to get... See, all the good stuff in Mox way down low. Critical Banker, Grim Reaper Sprint, Four Leaf Clover. I don't like Ricochet, but these three, four actually, better criticals than all these. Combine them together and it's just like death, really. It's insane. Because like, okay, 2.5 times damage. You can save three criticals. 35% chance to refill all action points. And your critical meter. Any kill in VATS. Any kill... And each hit has a chance of filling your critical meter, which is insane. Not kill, hit. It's just insane how overpowered luck is. I'm going to completely ignore raider armor and just go for leather armor. <coughs> Gas mask with goggles. Oh, another level up. Did I even pick a perk for my um one? No, I didn't. I didn't get another level up. Stupid me. Okay, so I think I'm going to take better criticals. And for my next level, I'm going to take um, a point in luck. And then I'm going to get critical banker. I absolutely love the critical system in this game. It's a lot better than the stupid randomness of 3 in New Vegas. Which I hope they remaster. I know they probably won't because... The modders have made it, you know, you can make it look better. But speaking of modders, the creation kit has been rumored to come out sooner or later. So that means console mods will be coming sometime in the summer, I believe. Which I can't wait for. Because uh, uh, the first mod I'm going to get is an alternate start mod. Because we need one of those. And I hope they make, like, a dust for, uh, 
Fallout 4, because Dust was an amazing mod for Fallout New Vegas, which was basically like insane hardcore survival. Mental. Hold on, I gotta do something real quick. Alright, I just got an important message. Uh, jump. So, uh, in case you haven't played Fallout 4, just to let you know, I'm gonna spoil a lot of stuff, obviously. So, uh, just go buy this game right now. It's amazingly fun. And with the DLC, it's gonna get better. Because Far Harbor is gonna come out in May. And that's supposed to be a bigger than Shivering Isles, which is one of the biggest and best DLCs ever made. I find that hard to believe. If it is, the props to Bethesda for sure. Because, do you think, that was in 2000, what, 2007? They made the Shivering Isles. And that was huge and amazing and fun. Just imagine what they can do now. I mean, Tomatron was kind of a letdown, but that was ten bucks. I don't expect much from Wasteland Workshop either, since that's only five bucks. But twenty-five dollars. I mean, how much was Shivering I Shivering Isles? Was like fifty or another game? It was expensive. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I got the season pass for thirty bucks. I was lucky. I bought it on like the last day before it turned 50 bucks. It was insane. I felt so privileged. Die. Die! My god. Oh. Pipe. I never use pipe weapons. I think they suck. They're atrocious. They're a disgrace to humankind. Ooh, pipe revolver rifle. Now I'm just gonna loot all these guys. Ooh, leather left leg. Wait, don't I already have one? No, I don't. I love the leather armor on the vault suit. It's amazing. Cause they always had like um in the uh like cutscenes, ending cutscenes in Fallout 3 New Vegas, like the vault suit with the um leather armor piece on like the left or right arm and the chest piece on the back. I thought that looked amazing. And I guess the, um, the, uh, Armored Vault 13 Vault Suit New Vegas was kind of like that. Which you got with Courier Stash. Which I personally think was, you know, one of the worser DLCs. Worser? I need to use my English. Oh, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Remember, Mondays and Fridays, uh, remember to tune in and enjoy. This is probably going to be a longer series. My guess is... <coughs> <coughs> I don't know, somewhere around 60, maybe 70 episodes. If, if I can do that, I'll uh, give myself a cookie in the end of this series, and I'll eat it, and you guys can all hear it. That's nice. But uh, th Wednesday's video might be um, the start of a new series. I'm considering it. It probably won't be, though, because I'll give you a hint. It's one of the free games for the PlayStation Plus. Uh, so it might be the start of a series. I still have to play through it and get used to it before I make any decisions. Uh, I forgot to upload. Oh, by the way, one more random thing. Uh, I was going to do a Just Cause 3 video, but it forgot to upload, I think. So expect that to be coming like tomorrow. Because I'll have to upload that. It was kind of funny. I, I, I got stuck in like building that you can't go into and I had to get out it was fun anyway uh, that's it for this video I hope you all enjoyed